Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new so rare video. Much like I did for my Champion Europe players on my previous video discussing my squad and strategy. This video is all about U23 or under 23 for the upcoming European 24-25 season. Now most of these cards will be European based. However, as we all know, MLS, Brazil for example, are still playing. I think MLS is about November time for that finishes. Obviously, Brazilian and other leagues as well do come in to play. So, on the 23 is multi-entry, so three lineups per scarcity. So, just for example, you have three teams in super rare, three teams in rare, and three teams in limited, and you can play down as well. So, again, just for example, if you are playing limited and you want to move up into rares very slowly, you can go out there and buy two rares, and play them in your limited teams as well. Now, a bit of a catch with under 23. There's only classic competitions. There's no in season under 23. Um, much like we have for other competitions. So just classic for under 23. So as an example, these early access cards, in my opinion, aren't worth buying if you are just focusing on under 23. So don't come with any premium. Um, play under 23, but they are usually more expensive or are more expensive than the classic cards, as you can see in this gallery. This was just a pull from an essence. Unfortunately, I did not go out and buy um, Popper. So starting straight away with the goalkeepers, I will be playing rare and also one super rare lineup as well. As you can see in the last week, I've been very busy. Now, I did some streams and some videos towards the end of last season, buying cards in readiness for the start of this season. I did say I was already, but as you can tell, um, I wasn't at all. So starting with Trubin that I purchased four days ago, um, most expensive goalkeeper for under 23, but in my opinion, he is the best under 23 goalkeeper as well. Obviously playing for Benfica, he's got two more years left of utility at under 23. He jumps straight into the gallery. Also do own an Antonio Silva as well. So it just made sense for me to go out there and pick up a Trubin. He also purchased an Ernst as well um, from Hertha Berlin, second division in Bundesliga. Now, I'm not a massive fan of buying goalkeepers in Germany in general, but especially a Bundesliga, second division. He wasn't right at the top of my list. I was watching the Ajax goalkeeper situation very closely as well. But for his price, he's a decent goalkeeper as well from what I've heard. So he comes in the gallery as well. And as you can see, I've got 20 goalkeepers here, but not all of them will be starters, of course. A few of them that I picked up over three years ago and that are kind of football manager-related goalkeepers or goalkeepers that have high potential. For example, um, Denny Seaman, for example, here, he's really highly regarded at Stuttgart. Um, but he'll be playing in the third division. I think Stuttgart's B team are playing there. But I think next season could be his year. Tim Gollier as well. Plays a gym under 19 or under 20 goalkeeper. So, kind of a bit, bit of a punt really. Um, again, Chevalier down here. That purchased three years ago. Costa was the same as well for Porto. Of course, he's now 24. Uh, but these goalkeepers are kind of longer term. Next goalkeeper that should have a starting spot is AZ's Rome Jaden Aruso Oduro. Um, long name that. Um, I do own a super rare too. Now, I do say hopefully. You know, he has been given the number one shirt. The chairman's come out or the owner's come out and said he will be number one. He is currently injured at the moment in time. AZ did play my team, Stoke, and beat us one yesterday. Um, but he didn't play. He has been injured for quite a while. Um, so I'm hoping he's back for the start of the season. Um, injured for the well, last couple of weeks anyway from what I've seen. So hopefully he is number one. So that's kind of three goalkeepers locked in. Van der Voort is a bit 50-50 at the moment in time. From what I've seen, he won't be starting the league games. Maybe some cup and potentially the European games as well. So we can't guarantee a starting spot for him. Obviously Chris Brady for the MLS. I mean, some green scores there, but... If you are a Chris Brady owner, you know how frustrating it is sometimes, especially in the last couple of weeks with League Cup, but he just seems to have not many green scores at all. Um, and the other goalkeeper is uh, Chevalier, of course, from Lille in the French League. I do plan to play him more in the Champ Europe competitions. However, obviously, he can be used 
in under 23 as well. And just next to him there, Simon, I'm not even going to pronounce that surname. He has been linked away from Marseille this summer, but apparently it is a low move to the third division in France. So he won't be covered on Surrey, unfortunately, this season. So one, um, two, three, four on the 23 goalkeepers, perhaps five. Van der Voort can get that starting spot at Leipzig. Um, but again, Chevalier would mainly used in the Champion Europe competition. Moving on to the defenders. Now, I've got a range of defenders in here from challenger, champ and contender as well. Just keep in mind that majority of the champ players will be played in you know, Liga, Premier League, Bundesliga or the champ competitions over the under-23. But you know, if they've got really good fixtures, especially the goalkeepers as well, he might just find himself in U23. So Antonio Silva, for example, obviously partnering in with Trubin, Inacio and Dibas, both at Sporting, um, Terran, who again have been injured forever, it seems like. Um, him and Chris Brady was a partnership, but as you can see, it's never worked together, to be completely honest with you guys. And a few others are here as well. For example, Lewis Hall for Newcastle will be mainly played with Nick Pope in a defensive Newcastle stack for Premier League or Champ. And a few other new signs as well. Um, Hugo Sigrid, pretty much that name. Um, new signing at Club Bruiser, right back. Obviously played in Belgium before for the age. Moved to Germany, but now back in the Jupiler Pro League. Um, at right back. And Luke Haber as well, obviously, at the Olympics at the moment in time with France. Getting some really nice scores. Obviously played for Leipzig as well in Germany. But again... He potentially could be used in a Bundesliga lineup throughout this season. And on to the midfielders. I do own 37 rare under 23 midfielders. Much like I said in my champion video, I do like to play two midfielders in the five man lineup. Usually set piece takers or very good A scores in those attacking positions. Again, players like Musiala. Wirtz, for example, Palmer, Saka, will all play in their respective you know, competitions, for example, Bundesliga, Premier League, or champion regions. But players like a contender player here, um, like Tafania, for example, really good under-23 midfielder. He'll be used majority of the time in U23 over contenders, as an example. And we'll touch on the price pool towards the end of the video as well. But really some strong players in here. A few players, like a Nipan, for example, if you play football manager, you know about this guy. Um, Lang, Land as well, sorry. Very high potential on him. Lennon Miller, really good potential as well. So a few of these guys in here that haven't really come out of their shell just yet, but hopefully ones for the future as well. And I've got 29 forwards too, when this page does load up. As you can see, I brought a for in season. But again, yeah, Conte Sal, Anthony Gordon, we're probably using the champ region as well. But Conte Sal um, and a few of these contenders slash challenger forwards will be used majority of the time again in U23. I feel very strong in U23 forwards. Bakayoko linked with Saudi Arabia at the start of the window, but he looks like he's staying at PSV now, hopefully. Again, a few of the nice players. Gnante in here, Savio at Man City, of course, as well. Um, but yeah, I think four are quite strong, to be honest. don't think I need any upgrades in here. So Conte, Sal, probably one striker. Um, Conte, number two. Again, Gordon would be up there, but he's a champ. Like a back Yoko as well as a main three. Um, I'm going to at the moment in time to show you the best laps I can make from these positions. But really strong in midfield, really strong in the forward. I'm really happy. Now let's move on to the super rares. Just moving over to super rare data to show you my super rare on the 23 team. A lot easier to show you in this format and also my best rare laps as well for U23. As I mentioned, just the one super rare goalkeeper. I've got two defenders here that should play in Mark Gay. Now he has been linked away from Palace to Newcastle. I'll be using his card majority of the time in the Premier League super rare competition I think anyway. At least one defender really in Bradley Locco, who plays a breast, who qualified for the Champions League last season. Currently with France at the Olympics. Really good scorer on Surrey at left back as well. So any suggestions for kind of a bit more depth in Super Air Defender, let me know in the comment section below. Midfielders, got three in here. Kenzo, Aymar and Sephorza. Most recently brought Kenzo to the other day. 
I do own his rare card as well that I've held about two years now. He's just moved to the championship in Derby County, who have been promoted. I've seen a bit of pre-season from Derby, especially Kenzo as well. And a lot of Derby fans are raving about him in that number 10 position. So if you are a Derby fan, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Kenzo's performances so far. And then the two forwards, Bradley Barcol at PSG. Now Mbappe's left. Hopefully he can get some more minutes in that PSG side. And also um, Mkuku as well, or Mokuku, um, who plays for Dortmund at the moment in time. But has been linked, or has agreed terms actually, with Marseille in France. So hopefully he gets that move. Um, Zerbi is cooking over there. A lot of good signings at Marseille. So... That's kind of the only 23 Super Air team as we see it right now. Will that team do well, guys? Let me move my big head out of the way. Um, I do think so on some given weeks and fixtures add up. Never know. Um, I just don't have enough, enough depth, in, in my opinion. Maybe a few more pieces to add to the puzzle. Um, but as we all know, with only 23, it can be pot luck from given game week. And then on to the rares again. These are kind of the lamps I'm looking at for the upcoming season. Try to avoid many champ plays as I kind of got two in there at the moment in time. As I mentioned before, midfield didn't quite stack there. So just for example, if Palmer or Saka or Musiala, for example, have a tough game away from home or I don't quite fancy him in the Premier League competitions, I can go ahead and put Saka, for example. Home against Liverpool, very tough game. But as you all know, Saka is a great player. That fix should be fine in all the 23 as well. So really looking forward to all the 23. It's multi-entry. I'm absolutely buzzing for the season to start. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you getting involved in all the 23 as well? Which lamps are you looking at? Which plays are you looking at as well? Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.